Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year. I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this red smoky eye with the 35H palette by Morphe. And I'm going to be starting off with the shade Party On. And I'm going in with the Morphe E17 brush. And I'm blending this all over my crease. It's okay if it goes below the crease because we're going to be applying shades there and it's going to get covered up. So the more you blend, the better of a smoky eye you will get. So just keep packing it on there little by little start building up the intensity of the shade because you don't want to make a mess by adding too much of the shade and then not being able to fix it after. The next shade I'm going in with is called Heat Up and I'm going in with the JH34 brush. This is from the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe collection and this is a medium sized blending brush and we're just going to be using this shade to blend out that darker red. Next, I'm going in with the Clean Blending Brush, and this is the JH33 brush from the Jaclyn Hill Collection as well. And I'm just going to be buffing out any, any of that eyeshadow that might have fallen out. I'm just going to be cleaning it out and making sure that this is well blended, and there's no way I can drag any extra product that fell out onto my brow bone and mess up the whole look. And this is also going to create a smokier effect. Now I'm going in with the shade Fire Starter and I'm using my finger to apply this because I feel like you get better results when you use your finger for shimmery shades. And I'm only applying this on my lid. Do not go above your crease because that's going to mess up the smoky effect. Once I'm done applying that with my finger, I'm going back in with the Morphe E17 brush. And I didn't apply any product. I'm just using it to blend out the shimmery shade with the dark red shade. So I wanted to see how intense this shimmery shade would look with some setting spray and I used the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray just to see how much brighter this would look and it looks way better. So now we're going on to the next step. I'm getting rid of all of the fallout that I have on my face. It bothers me especially with these red shades because when you touch them they smear onto your face and then it gets all pink and red and weird and when it mixes with foundation it gets horrible and it gets on my nerves. So now that that's done, I'm going in with my Believe Beauty concealer. You guys can get this at any Dollar General store and it's cheap guys. This is like $4 and I'm using this just to clean out that outer corner of my eye and just make that sharp line so we can get kind of like a cat eye but yet it's still a smoky eye if that makes any sense. So let's go ahead and get that cleaned up. Once I'm done with my full face, I'm going back in with the shade Party On and the Morphe E17 brush. And I'm just applying this onto my lower lash line very tightly in there. I don't want this to be too extra since it's red and it can be pretty messy. Next, I'm going back in with the shade Heat Up and also with the JH34 brush. And I'm going to be blending that shade out with that brighter red. I'm just not going to go too low because, like I said, I don't want to make a mess. Next, I'm going in with the shade Stilettos and I'm using the JH38 brush. It's a tiny pencil brush and I'm going to be applying some Urban Decay setting spray onto it just so that the brush is wet and the product applies a lot brighter. And I'm putting this on my inner corner of my eye. Now, don't click out of this video. I'm going to show you an easy trick to make eyeliner darker and also so that your eyeliner doesn't crack if you use a cheap kind or anything like that. So the first step is using a gel eyeliner. I'm using the NYX one. I don't recommend this one honestly because it dries out easily. So I recommend the Maybelline one which is the one I'm using now. So but for this video we're going to be using NYX just to show you guys how to do this. So we're going to be applying this on our top lash line as if we're doing our normal eyeliner. The reason why I'm pulling my skin back is because this eyeliner got dry, so this is actually helping me make the line a lot more straight. The second step is a liquid eyeliner. I like to use the Italia Deluxe one. This one's a very affordable, you guys. It should be like around $5 or less. So the reason why I like using this eyeliner is because when you apply something under it, it applies so smoothly and it looks so dark and black and it doesn't crack on that inner corner. I know that a lot of us girls have those problems with eyeliner where it cracks on that inner corner when you put on some false lashes. Yes, it's freaking annoying. I know. Well, this technique helps if you apply something underneath that eyeliner. 
I'm not really worried about my wing because my lashes don't even touch that. So I know that it stays nice and dark because it's not really touched by anything. So I normally just apply the gel liner on my lash line and then just apply the liquid liner on top. So that was the eyeliner trick, you guys. This is how it looks. Now I'm going to be going in with my favorite mascara. This is the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And I'm going to be applying a light coat on the top because I'm going to be going in with some lashes. I don't know which lashes these are, you guys. I accidentally took them out of one of the boxes that I have with lashes. And I totally forgot to save it to, like, keep them together. And I lost it. So I don't even know what these are called. But, yeah. <laughs> Off camera, I applied some eyeliner from Italia Deluxe on my waterline. And that's the final step, you guys. Uh, Happy New Year. And if you guys are interested, I was singing for New Year's. And, yes, I got drunk. There's a video on my Instagram, Miss underscore Emily Paints. Go check it out. Uh, I broke down mid-song, so <laughs> that's why my voice is so bad right now. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys' support. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in my next one.